Hi, my name is Deb Hunter. I'm a physiotherapist at Move Better for Life. And today we're going to talk to you about shoes and feet. Exercising in the proper footwear is really critical to helping your performance and reducing your likelihood of injury. So our feet are really well designed to support us and they provide a really effective springboard as we walk and exercise. However, we're not always in the ideal world and so good footwear can make all the difference. So two things you need to consider. The first is the shoe differential and the second is the arch support. So firstly, the shoe differential is the difference in the height or the thickness of the sole from one end of the shoe to the other. So some shoes will have a big differential and they can be quite a few centimetres and some will have no differential such as barefoot running shoes. And it can depend what, it, you, everyone's different and some people prefer the no differential, but for some people it's um, useful to have quite a big differential, particularly if you've got say shin splints, it can help you just offset the, sh the pain that you might experience when you're running. So problems occur when people have had a supportive shoe and they want to go to an unsupportive shoe or they want to go into barefoot running. And it's not that it can't be done, it just needs to be considered, a couple of things need to be considered. Firstly, uh, the bigger the differential of your current shoe, then the longer it's going to take to transition. And also, if you happen to be a little bit older, like 40 years and over, then it may take longer than if you're younger, just simply because your the integrity of your tissues aren't, aren't as uh, pliable, as flexible as they were when you're younger. So it just takes a little bit more time. The second thing you really need to consider is the arch support. So look at the arch support of your current shoes. And if your feet are used to having really good arch support, then you'll need to take this into account if you want to go to less arch support. And just it just needs to, to be slower um, and the transition. So you just need to consider that. So going from very supportive shoes to ones with little or no support um, can lead to things like plantar fasciitis. So if you've been prone to that, then you probably need to stick with good supportive arch arches um, in your shoes. So thanks for listening and um, I'll see you next time.